Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I'm working in my art journal. Um, let's see, I'm, I'm getting semi close to the end. I'm just looking at the pages. Okay, I'm not very close. I'm closer to the end than the beginning. <laughs> the, this particular art journal has taken me forever to fill up. Um, okay, most of my art journals, yes, I have more than one. <laughs> take me forever and that's probably why because I have more than one Um, today I really have no plan like usual I just really wanted to roll paint with a brayer but not jelly print surprise surprise usually it's jelly printing um, just looking for some neutrals and I yeah I draw a figure in this this is a really wonky looking figure um, this is no not a scientific method on how to draw a figure. Um, it ends up looking pretty crazy. So most of it will get covered up with something. But um, there will be part of it in the end. <laughs> and I believe I'm using my Stabil yeah, I'm using my Stabilo All pencil. So yeah, I was thinking of doing like a kind of a profile view from the back. Um, and then I changed my mind. Didn't like how the hair was looking. Rather just have a, a circular head. That's the beauty of the Stabilo All. You can like, if you put it on acrylic paint, it uh, dried acrylic paint, it wipes off pretty easily. And then this is Payne's Gray. I thought I would turn it into a silhouette. And that's when, oh, and then brown just to be different. That's when you see how really strange looking. Um, I don't know, pot-bellied alien? <laughs> Head's probably not big enough for an alien, you know, the traditional alien, but uh, kind of crazy looking. So then I go back in with some of that uh, peach color to I don't know. Make it look like it's human. <laughs> really just plain. What do you do in your art journal? Isn't that what it's for? It's it's not a final fancy piece of art. It's in a book that, well, unlike me. <laughs> yeah, I did that too. Um, it does not have to be seen by the world. It's whatever you want to play with. Um, and explore and see what to do um, and what will happen if you do let's see what happens if I try to draw a figure like this well that's what happens um, so I decide I'm gonna cover up most of this figure so I'm taking a jelly print and tearing it up and just putting strips down and as I'm putting these strips on um, I think they look like pillars, like pillars of stone. And so once I get them all in, I go looking for a quote that fits with pillars of stone. And I think I found, uh, oh, it was like pillars of, I don't know, I couldn't find a quote for pillars of stone. I, it was pillars of something else. Um, but I wanted stone because these look kind of like rocks, don't you think? Like chunks of rock. Like. Stonehenge. But not really. These are more. Um, jagged rocks. Like like Utah rocks. <laughs> so I needed more. Because I've got to cover more of that figure up. So I grabbed another jelly print. And. We're just gonna okay that one's starting to look like a stalactite or a stalagmite maybe we're in a cave now at this point no I'm just kidding um I do end up making them all look kind of three-dimensional and like rocks all right so I have some tissue that I printed some patterns on um, long, long time ago, I did a 
promo video for Shutterstock. I think it's called something else now. Um, they have stock images that you can, you know, like you subscribe and then they're all free and free for commercial use. So that's what these patterns are when I did that. I printed them onto tissue and they've been sitting around forever so I figured they could make some interesting patterns on this um, journal page. <laughs> um, probably don't exactly go with the more um, tribal looking patterns. They're a little bit more refined but I just wanted to do it. And I'm trying to make them since they're tissue, I'm putting a lot of the matte medium on, trying to get the tissue portion to disappear into the background. And just leave an interesting pattern. Alright, so now those are dry, I'm going to go around and shade my pillars of stone and I'm just ignoring the print just pretending like it's just texture or something and trying to make these look three-dimensional So, how are you all doing? Point this video comes out. I don't even know when it's going to come out. Hopefully things are closer to being back to normal for everyone. We're all doing good at my house. Um, I, I have moved to work from home and that will be permanent as long as uh, I keep my job. Um, I've been learning a new job and it's it's hard. <laughs> like I've done the same job for how long have I worked for that same company? 24 years. Oh my gosh. Same job for 24 years. I had it mastered. <laughs> but um, that position was going away. It was not going to be available um, where I live. So um, I had to find a new job. And I got a new job within the same company. And it's like it's like getting a brand new job. And, you know, I've been doing the same one for 24 years. I mean, there is some stuff that overlaps. Not really. But some stuff that I know from my other job that helps me learn this stuff for my new job but oh man it it is no fun trying to learn a new job and at my age too it's harder when you're older right <laughs> all right so i'm just using my white posca to highlight the forward facing part of these pillars um, to make them, do they look more dimensional now? Maybe? They're, they're supposed to be like square chunky rocks, not like smooth round objects. So I think it works. What do you think? Putting little highlights to make it look kind of rough on the surface as well. And then now I think I'm going to try and fix the figure. <clears throat> Change it from being the back of a figure to the front of a figure. Highlight the collarbone. <laughs> So it goes from being quite alien to almost human. I don't know. Almost human. <laughs> now she doesn't look too bad. Her neck is a tad long. Um, okay. 
her neck is really long. Um, but yeah, that's why I um, practice faces every day. I need to, okay, I've, I've done, I'm currently on face number 107 in my little face book that I've been doing. Um, now I should work on figures um, and try to get proportions right. My faces I'm not 100% happy with, but I can draw a basic face. Um, painting is another story. For some reason I can't control that paintbrush very well. Drawing is okay. I can draw other things. I don't know why faces are so difficult. But yeah, I'll have to get me a body book. <laughs> Once I fill up my Facebook, I'll have to do a body book. So I can practice bodies. Um, if any of you follow Gina B. Aarons, she has a lip book and a nose book and an eye book. She does them in she does them big and in watercolor. Mine are just small and sketches. So now I'm, I don't know why I keep wanting to use that yellow or ochre ochery color, but it's just not looking right. So finding the brown, get some brown paint, fixing her hair. Maybe if I'd given her long hair, her neck wouldn't have looked so long. I don't know. She's got a long neck. All right, so I did come up, I did finally find a quote when I was googling pillars of stone and I found one that kind of works and it's called friends are the pillars on your porch sometimes they hold you up sometimes they lean on you and sometimes it's just enough to know that they are standing by and that's by unknown um, I thought that was perfect and I thought it fit with my my crazy pillars they can be my friends <laughs> since I glued that on I want to kind of make that look like it's a chunk of stone so I'm giving it some lines and some jaggedy edges doing a little shading with the my pit artist brush pen in gray and I'm gonna go around and shade everything as well just try to make it make those rocks stand out a little bit more and I got a little bit of the gray over the white so I wanted to fix that and I think I killed my pen. Now I have to dip. I have to dip back into the ink. I, I don't know what I did. I must have hit something wet on it. I'm good at killing white pens. All right, it's just about done. I think I do a little shading around the edge. Maybe do I? I think so. And. Then we're about finished. I hope you liked this. Let me know if you did. Leave me a comment. If you have any questions, you can ask me anything. <laughs> I may or may not answer. <laughs> um, but I appreciate you all. And thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.